Can you truly rank the best food in Magic Kingdom? Well, today we're gonna try. I hope you're hungry. When it comes to dining in Disney World, things can get pretty overwhelming with all the different options and price points. So today we're hanging out in Magic Kingdom to tell you what is and isn't worth your money when it comes to eating in the most magical park in Orlando. We will be talking about everything dining-wise in Magic Kingdom today, but we will be skipping any generic popcorn stands, and that unfortunately includes Cool Ship over in Tomorrowland. So that's not in my ranking system. We also came up with this definite ranking list based on your reviews on our website. Over at allears.net, you can leave a review for any dining location in Disney World. If you've never done that, I highly encourage you to do so. It could be a good review or a bad review. Just tell us about your experience at a dining location in Disney World. Your review can really help another family decide if they want to spend their money at that Disney World restaurant. So. If you haven't left a review, I'm going to encourage you to do so after this video is over. Okay? You promise? All right, you said it. I heard you. For our first category in regards to ranking, we are first doing all of the snack stands, so any areas that don't have actual seating. Very first up on the list, so in very last place, is Prince Eric's Village Market. For the most part, Prince Eric's Village Market is just kind of boring. There's not a lot here. Uh, most of the items on the menu you can get many other places in Disney World. I will say you can get a turkey leg here, you can get a jumbo pretzel with some cheese, you can get a pickle in a pouch, or maybe some grapes. So there's not a whole lot of options here, which puts it on the bottom of our list. And along the way today, while we rank all of Magic Kingdom's restaurants, we're also going to be giving each restaurant a ride equivalent. So, to kind of help you figure out where it should lie on your list. I'm going to say the Prince Eric Village Market is, this is a very deep cut, okay? Prince Eric's Village Market, I'm gonna say, is the carousel at Disney Springs. It's kind of boring, nothing super exciting is happening. Um, you've got carousels everywhere, and all the snacks here at this stand, you can find them anywhere else. So, that was a very deep cut. I, I bet you didn't think I was gonna start with an attraction in Disney Springs. But you know what? I'm in charge of this video, so we'll see what happens. Next up on the list, we are in Liberty Square for the Liberty Square Market. This is another quick little stand, some grab and go options. It has a bigger menu than Prince Eric's, but not by much. You've got your drinks, you've got a pickle, you can still get a turkey leg here and a Mickey pretzel, but you can also get fruit and different chips and Baby Bell cheeses, so that's why it is a little bit above Prince Eric's. Now I think I was only thinking about the turkey legs when I decided the ride equivalent. So I'm saying that Liberty Square Market is the mission space of Magic Kingdom Dining. Now, still staying within that plain offerings only category, we've got Golden Oak Outpost. So Golden Oak does get a few points for having those loaded chicken tenders, which honestly can't find anywhere else. So do you get points for that? But overall, it's not a huge menu. Basically, it's just chicken tenders and some fries. However, rather than regular chicken tenders, they do dress them up with cheese, bacon, and green onions. And there's also chili cheese fries here, and you can get a warm, fresh, baked chocolate chunk cookie. We're going to say that Golden Oak Outpost is the magic carpets of Aladdin of Magic Kingdom dining. You can find everything on the menu somewhere else, but they gave it a little juice. They gave it a little extra magic, if you will. Possibly from the genie. Next up on our list, we have made it over to Main Street USA, where I'm standing in front of the Main Street Bakery, aka the Starbucks of Magic Kingdom. The Main Street Bakery is the Starbucks location for this park, and there's nothing super special about it. There's nothing overtly Disney. It is just a simple Starbucks, and that is why it's not higher up on our list. It does have the Mickey cinnamon roll, which is a popular item among guests, but we here at All Ears will tell you that is not the best cinnamon roll in Disney World. It's not even the best cinnamon roll in Magic Kingdom itself. We will talk about that later on in this list. Now from our reviews online on our website, the Main Street Bakery does have a 6.62 rating out of 10. It is just a Starbucks. There's nothing super special about it. It's not Disney special coffee. However, I do understand the feeling you get when you get that Starbucks cup with the Disney Parks logo on it with some pixie dust and it is fun and it is special and if you want that on your vacation, treat yourself. I mean, I don't get Starbucks when I'm home because that's the expensive coffee. So when I'm here in Disney World, I'm like, hmm, treat myself. And you should too. Treat yourself. Because of all of that, I am saying that Main Street Bakery is the mad tea party when it comes to Magic Kingdom dining. It's fun, it's iconic to Magic Kingdom. However, you most likely can find it in your hometown, meaning you can find the Starbucks in your hometown. And then relating to the ride, mad tea party, any, basic carnival they're gonna have some version of that ride but here in Disneyland 
Disneyland, whoa. But here in Disney World, it's special. Next up, we are at Anti-Gravity's Galactic Goodies. Let's talk about ice cream floats. Anti-Gravity's has fairly plain ice cream floats, but they do have brownie sundaes, as well as a cold brew float that I had the other day, and it was lovely. And a lot of the times, seasonal items will show up here for Halloween and Christmas. So if you want some fun ice cream, come over here and check it out. I'm saying that Anti-Gravity's is the Tomorrowland Speedway of Disney World. Um, kids are gonna love it. They're gonna wanna do it every time because it's ice cream. What kid doesn't love ice cream? And parents are gonna be like, oh, really? Okay, let's get you some ice cream. You know, Tomorrowland Speedway, it fits. And you know what? Let's talk about some more ice cream because the next spot on our list is actually on Main Street USA, the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor. Plaza Ice Cream is located on the end of Main Street USA. Here you can find yummy ice cream right on Main Street. I will say it's just Edie's ice cream, but they do have the peanut butter sauce, which is absolutely wonderful, and you should definitely try it. While the All Ears team raves about the ice cream parlor, we know it is not something super special. It's not the best ice cream we've ever had in Disney World. It is just Edie's that you can get probably in your hometown. So we know that it's not the best place to grab a sweet treat in Magic Kingdom. It is our favorite though. And you know what? You can have your favorite even if it's not the best. We've gotten to the point where we actually cannot get through a full Magic Kingdom day without ending our night with Main Street Plaza ice cream. It's just, it's one of the most magical parts of Disney World. Okay, sitting here when the lights are all turned on at night, just sitting on the curb, eating some ice cream with your friends, making memories. One of the best parts about Magic Kingdom. And that is why I am saying that Plaza Ice Cream Parlor is the people mover of Magic Kingdom Dining. All right, now we're finally getting a little creative. Next up on the list, Westward Ho Refreshments in Frontierland. Westward Ho Refreshments made it a little bit higher on the list thanks to their jalapeno poppers, candied bacon, breakfast sandwich, and corn dog nuggets. Some cotton candy, some slushies, and your Joffrey's Coffee here as well. Now, are they gonna be the best jalapeno poppers you've ever had? No, but it's a very unique theme park snack and I have them many times. I do really enjoy Westward Ho Refreshments. I think it's a little underrated for the types of things that it has on the menu. Plus, just quickly grab and go, get your Joffrey's coffee. So that is why I'm saying that Westward Ho Refreshments is the alien swirling saucers of Magic Kingdom restaurants. You know I had to. Next up, Cheshire Cafe. Cheshire Cafe is right next to the Mad Tea Party and across the street from Cosmic Rays in Tomorrowland. There aren't a ton of options here at the snack stand, but what they do have here is pretty good. The Cheshire Cattail is very iconic in Disney World food, and they are really good. The Cheshire Cattail is basically a chocolate chip pastry with pink and purple icing on it. It's very iconic in the world of Disney food, but you've also got things like the Marion Birthday Cupcake, you've got a bunch of slushies here. You can also get your Joffrey's Cold Brew here, so if you just need coffee on the go, you can grab it here. You can also grab the Pepper Jack Pretzel here, so that's an added bonus points for Cheshire Cafe. I'm gonna say Cheshire Cafe is the barnstormer. No further comment. And next up on the list, we've made it to Adventureland where we are stopping at Sunshine Tree Terrace. This is one of multiple places in Magic Kingdom where you can get that Dole Whip. You can grab many flavors of Dole Whip here, including chocolate, vanilla, orange, and an orange cream. And there's one that tastes like a swirl and it's amazing and I love it. You can also get certain floats, like right now there's the I Lava You float, there's the Orange Bird Sipper float. You can even make root beer floats here as well. So there's a lot of good options for something to cool you down. The only savory option here on this menu is some dumplings, but I will say they're pretty good. I'm saying that Sunshine Tree Terrace is the Soren of Magic Kingdom Dining. It's very nice, it's relaxing, it's refreshing. Your mom's gonna be happy, she's gonna love it. Just get her a Dole Whip, just get her some soft serve, and she'll be very appreciative. Made our way over to Storybook Treats. This is where you're gonna find soft serves, floats, and specialty ice creams like the new Rapunzel Sunday, the Aurora Swirl Cone, and rotating specialty items. Storybook Treats is the It's a Small World of Magic Kingdom restaurants. Everyone's gonna be happy here. It's ice cream, it's soft serve. Um, it gets a little messy, which I'm not gonna explain. Um, but yeah, I think Storybook Treats is the small world. And for the number two spot on this list, we are here at the front of Adventureland for the Adventureland Spring Roll Cart. I mean, anyone on the All Ears team, they're gonna agree with this ranking. This snack stand in front of Adventureland is home to the famous Spring Rolls. They always have two different flavors here. One of our favorites is the Cheeseburger Spring Rolls, and then they just recently added, oh, the sign has changed. 
What? Okay, that's very interesting. When they first came out on the sign, the name of them was Chicken Ham and Cheese Spring Rolls, but now they're calling them the Cordon Bleu Spring Rolls, which makes sense. I mean, that's what it is. But that's that's interesting. Those are just little things that you notice when you're at Disney World all the time. Now these spring rolls are very, very popular, specifically cheeseburger spring rolls. And a lot of the times, once they sell out of spring rolls, they are done for the day. So if this is something that you wanna make sure that you try, head over here as soon as you start to get hungry for lunch or for a morning snack, I won't judge. We here at All Ears love the spring roll cart and apparently you do it at home as well because the spring roll cart has an 8.25 rating out of 10 on our website, making it the number two spot on our snack stand list. Very well deserved. And that is why the Adventureland Spring Roll Cart is the living with the land of Magic Kingdom dining. It's loved by the All Ears team. It is becoming an icon. It's becoming the moment. Um, and you all also love it as well. So, yeah, living with the land. And our number one spot in the snack stand category of this video, we've got Aloha Isle Refreshments where you can get that classic Dole Whip. I mean, there's nothing like the classic Dole Whip and arguably the most famous cold snack in Disney World. Here you can get cups of Dole Whip, you can get Dole Whip Float, the Tropical Serenade, even the Pineapple Upside Down Cake. It's rated nine out of 10 on our site, but only based on one review though. Dole Whip is so refreshing, it's very iconic. It's just the quintessential Disney snack. It's great for everyone, it's plant-based, so it's available to everyone. And it's so popular, it's our number one spot. That's why Aloha Iowa Refreshments is the Peter Pan's flight of Magic Kingdom dining. Now we're moving on to the quick service section of this ranking video, and we're starting in Adventureland. Right across from Pirates of the Caribbean, we've got Tortuga Tavern. Now Tortuga Tavern doesn't even have many things on their menu. There's only four items on the whole menu, plus a slushy. So I will say the items that are on the menu are pretty unique, especially that peanut butter, chocolate, hazelnut spread, and banana sandwich. Now even though Tortuga has some pretty unique items, unfortunately they're not that great. Plus this restaurant isn't even open every day of the year. This is a restaurant that they open only on busier days, uh, peak summer crowds. So if you're visiting during one of the low seasons, this restaurant might not even be open. Tortuga Tavern has a 5.6 rating on her website. And I'm gonna have to say that Tortuga Tavern is the Astro Orbiter of Magic Kingdom Dining. Next up is the Lunching Pad. This is the quick service that is actually underneath both the People Mover and Astro Orbiter. The Lunching Pad is a pretty safe option. The newer breakfast options that they do have here are pretty tasty with that sticky bubble bread and the breakfast bowl. Um, basically a different version of tachos, but it's got cheese omelet, chili con carne, queso, and sour cream. So this has become a new spot for breakfast. As far as lunch and dinner go, there's a bunch of different hot dogs on here with fun toppings. You've got the cute Mike Wazowski cake, um, cream cheese warm stuffed pretzel you can grab here. So it's got some pretty good options. You've got slushies, you can get Emma's frozen Coke here as well. So overall, not a bad spot. We think the lunching pad is okay. You're gonna be happy here. You'll find something you like. It's not one of our favorites, but it does have a couple of more unique options than just a plain hot dog or just a plain burger. So if you want something different, come over here. For the lunching pad, I'm gonna say that the lunching pad is the Liberty Square Riverboat of Disney Dining. It's a solid option, plenty of shade. You can sit here for a little bit, take a break. Um, and it's slowly creeping up on the list, higher and higher. So the more I eat here, the more I do the riverboat. They're both becoming more of a must-do. They're not must-do level yet for me, but they're working their way up. Next up on the list, Pinocchio Village House. Pinocchio Village House is a quick service in Fantasyland. It's right across from the carousel. Overall, this spot is pretty average. It's, we would call it mediocre. It's got a bunch of different flatbreads, but none of them are outstanding, and you can get a chicken Caesar salad or some chicken strips. I should also note that the plant-based cheese pizza is not recommended by our resident plant-based eater. The reason Pinocchio's does get some points in its favor is that there is a book inside the restaurant where you can go and sign the book and make a wish right in front of the Blue Fairy. So that's a really cool element that not many restaurants have. So we gave it, we gave it some points there. You all at home gave Pinocchio Village House a 7.2 out of 10 rating on our website. I will say points in its favor though, there's a ton of seating inside, so you will be indoors with some air conditioning. And there's even a few seats outside up on the balcony where you can sit and watch Fantasyland. Pinocchio Village House is the Cali River Rapids of Magic Kingdom dining, okay? Not most people's favorites. Most people walk right past it. 
but it's great in the heat. You can get out of the sun. It'll cool you down. Next up on the list, Cosmic Rays Starlight Cafe in Tomorrowland. While Cosmic Rays is not the best in Magic Kingdom, we still have a soft spot in our hearts, especially because of Sunny Eclipse, the jazz musician animatronic in the restaurant. The newer items like the crispy chicken sandwich and crispy noodle salad with shrimp have brought it up on this ranking list. But they still have all your classic options like chicken tenders and burgers, so you can find something for everyone in your party here. Cosmic Rays has a 6.9 out of 10 ranking on our website. I'm gonna say that Cosmic Rays is Slinky Dog Dash, okay? Great for kids, kids are gonna love it. Um, most of the time has a long wait. So, very popular, gets very crowded. At one point in time, Cosmic Rays was the busiest restaurant in the world. No, not Disney World, the entire world. Yes, so very popular restaurant. Kids are gonna be happy, especially picky eaters. Get them some chicken tenders. And next up on the list, we've made it over to one of my favorite spots in all of Magic Kingdom, and that is Gaston's Tavern in Fantasyland. I am a huge Beauty and the Beast fan. It is my favorite, so I really, really love just this whole section back here. Here you can find the iconic gray stuff cupcake, also the iconic warm cinnamon roll, and honestly, I really do love the sandwich here on the lunch menu. There's just ham, provolone, and Swiss. You can also find LeFou's Brew, which is another iconic Disney World snack, and that is frozen apple juice with a hint of toasted marshmallow topped with all natural passion fruit mango foam. Honestly, everything on this menu is iconic, okay? So like, what were we expecting? It's Gaston, okay? He can do anything. I also really love this area for more reasons. One, it's got some of the best bathrooms in Magic Kingdom. They're tucked away in the back. Um, number two, it plays songs from the movie and songs from the Broadway musical. Songs that aren't on the soundtrack from the movie, but they've only used in the musical. So I just love hanging out over here. I could hang out and look at Gaston all day. I might have a problem. Gaston's Tavern has an 8.3 rating out of 10 on our site. Now I'm gonna say the Gaston's Tavern is the frozen ever after of Magic Kingdom restaurants. It's amazing, it's iconic, it's newer, um, not the newest, but newer. Got that subtle princess theming. All of the princesses love it. But it's not for everyone. I'll admit that, it's not for everyone. Also, all the girls on the AE team are obsessed with it. So that's why it's the Frozen Ever After. And next up, also in Fantasyland, we have made our way over to Friar's Nook. Friar's Nook has some really solid options for both breakfast and lunch. There's a breakfast sandwich here. You can get breakfast tots with sausage gravy. You can get your Joffrey's cold brew here. Also some cinnamon sugar donut holes. And for lunch, you can get a bunch of those loaded tots. You can get a loaded hot dog with mac and cheese and bacon on it, or even a bratwurst. Friar's Nook does have seating, but it is pretty limited. So if you see a table, snag it really fast. Hopefully it's in the shade. And we're gonna say that Friar's Nook is the Spaceship Earth of Magic Kingdom restaurants. It's a very solid option. It's gonna please you all day long for both breakfast and lunch and dinner. Um, dare I say it's iconic? Possibly. Howdy, partner. We've made it over to Frontierland for the next restaurant on our list, and that is Pecos Field Tail Tall Inn and Cafe. I'm sorry. That wasn't very good. Now, Pecos Bill made it a little bit higher on the list thanks to all of the different options and the quantity of their meals. This Mexican-inspired quick service has bowls, nachos, tacos, and more. It's actually pretty tasty, with the bowls being as large as they are, we think is actually worth the price as well. Now, before the closures, Pecos Bill actually had a toppings bar where you could go through and put a whole bunch more stuff on your food, but of course, after the closures, they have not brought that back yet, and it looks like they're not going to anytime soon. So I will say that Pecos Bill used to be a little bit better than it is today. And Pecos Bill is going to be the journey into imagination with figment of Magic Kingdom dining. <laughs> now let me explain. It's fine, it's great, you're gonna be pleased. You're gonna be pleased. You might be a little confused, but overall, fine restaurant, fine ride. It's got its stands for sure. There are people out there that stand this restaurant. Now, of course, we couldn't talk about quick service in Magic Kingdom or eating in Magic Kingdom in general without talking about Casey's Corner on Main Street, USA. When people talk about quick service in Magic Kingdom, Casey's Corner is the one that comes to mind. Here you can find the iconic corn dog nuggets with the plastic cheese. You can find a baseball brownie, chipotle fries, which are new and Emma really, really enjoyed. Uh, you've got different kinds of hot dogs, just quintessential 
Americana food. Casey's Corner is rated 7.2 out of 10 on our website, which honestly I feel like that should be higher. So if you're watching this and you love Casey's, go leave it a review. Maybe it'll bump it up on the list the next time we need to do this video. Casey's Corner is very popular and for very good reason. We hear all there's love Casey's Corner. I mean, you can't go wrong with those corn dog nuggets with the plastic cheese. Trust me, you will thank me later. I will say Casey's Corner is most likely going to be crowded. So take advantage of that mobile order on the My Disney Experience app. Save yourself some time. Order ahead while you're getting off of a ride. Perhaps you're walking on your way to Casey's Corner. And then by the time you're there, it'll be ready for you to pick up in a breeze. Now because Casey's Corner is quintessential Magic Kingdom food, it is a classic. It, you will not be upset ever by Casey's. Casey's will not let you down. And because of that, the ride that we are equating with Casey's Corner is Pirates of the Caribbean. Final two quick service restaurants in Magic Kingdom. Number two, Sleepy Hollow in Liberty Square. Sleepy Hollow Refreshments does have some fave items in regards to the All Ears team. It's got options for both breakfast and dinner. It's got famous items on the menu like that fresh fruit Nutella waffle sandwich for breakfast. Now it used to only be a breakfast menu item, but so many people loved it that it is now an all day item. I do also want to shout out another breakfast item and it is the Mickey shaped waffle with strawberries and powdered sugar. This one is only available for breakfast but it is a huge Mickey waffle. So if you love a good Mickey waffle and you want to have the biggest one you've ever had in your life, head over to Sleepy Hollow Refreshments. And for lunch and dinner here you can grab things like hand dipped corn dog and you can get the sweet and spicy chicken waffle sandwich which is broccoli slaw with a honey sriracha glaze with house made chips. Now our top two spots on the quick service list are actually tied. They both have an 8.6 rating on the All Ears Net website. So if you have a favorite, you better go give it a review so it makes it to the top spot. And we're gonna say that Sleepy Hollow Refreshments is the grand fiesta tour of Magic Kingdom dining. It's a favorite, especially by the All Ears team. It's got some iconic parts of it and it's simple like a simple boat ride would be through Mexico. So I think that makes sense. Now we have made it to our number one spot when it comes to quick service in Magic Kingdom and that is Columbia Harbor House. Columbia Harbor House is our favorite when it comes to quick service in Magic Kingdom for so many reasons. It's got so much great food and it's not your typical theme park food. Here you can find uh, grilled salmon, you can get grilled shrimp with rice, you can get the iconic trio platter, a lobster roll, and even a New England shrimp boil. This one's got an 8.6 rating out of 10 on our website, which I think it deserves more, but maybe I just need to go leave a review. Columbia Harbor House is amazing. If we are here in Magic Kingdom, we are eating at Columbia Harbor House. Hands down, everything is tasty. There's so many different options. There's so much seating indoors as well. So overall, amazing restaurant. That's why it made the number one spot when it comes to quick service. Now, this might be controversial. This might be a bold claim, but I think that the Columbia Harbor House is the equivalent of a rise of the resistance. Is that too much? I don't think so. Now we've made it to our final section, which is the table service section. And unfortunately at the bottom of the list, is going to be the Diamond Horseshoe. The Diamond Horseshoe is located in Frontierland, but it is the most forgotten restaurant in Magic Kingdom. Everyone walks right past it, probably not even knowing what this is. That's why it's at the very bottom. Unfortunately, the food is very similar to Liberty Tree Tavern. And I will say that these two restaurants do share a kitchen. So do with that information what you will. The only thing I would add to that is if for some reason Liberty Tree Tavern is all booked up for the day and there's no walk-up waitlist availability, which doesn't happen often, but if for some reason you're here on a day this full, you didn't get that reservation you wanted, just go to Diamond Horseshoe instead, you're gonna get the same food. Next up on the list, we are at Tony's Town Square Restaurant on Main Street, USA. Over the years, Tony's hasn't gotten the best reputation because a lot of people say that it is the Olive Garden of Disney World. It's Italian food, it's not the best, but it's not gonna be the worst either. So a lot of people usually say this one is a skip. Although we have reviewed this pretty recently and Emma and Quincy were pleasantly surprised. They have recently revamped the menu in order to try and up the value of this restaurant and we were pleased. Tony's has a rating of 7 out of 10 on our website and I don't know if I fully agree with this ride equivalent but I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna say that Tony's is the country bear jamboree of Magic Kingdom dining. I'm not totally sold on that one so if you have a better idea let me know in the comments but that's what we're going with. 
And next up on our list, we are heading into the 100 Acre Wood with the Crystal Palace Character Buffet. The Crystal Palace is a character buffet where you will be greeted by Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, and Eeyore. There's a buffet both for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Although the food isn't anything to write home about, I will say at breakfast there are churro Mickey waffles, so points to Crystal Palace for that one. You all gave Crystal Palace a 7.4 rating on our website, and of course, I mean, what else can we give this restaurant except for the mini adventures of Winnie the Pooh? It's a classic, all the kids will love it. All the kids love seeing Winnie the Pooh and it's fun. Um, it's nothing super exciting or brand new, you know, that kind of nature, but everyone will be happy. You can't be, you can't be sad around Pooh. Maybe Eeyore, but not Pooh. And next up on our list, we have made it back to Main Street USA for the Plaza Restaurant. Now the Plaza Restaurant sometimes feels like a secret in Magic Kingdom. Tucked away on Main Street, this restaurant has pretty nice options for the price. Quality is always held up in our experience. We've never been disappointed. We've been pleasantly surprised. They've had some pretty good options in the past. I will shout out the old Monte Cristo sandwich that they had during the 50th anniversary. That was great. I will say recently when Quincy, myself, and Emma ate here not too long ago, we were all very happy with what we chose. Um, nothing super outstanding, but we were very pleased with the price that we paid and we think it's worth it. And sometimes, depending on where you're seated in the restaurant, you can get an amazing view of the castle. I'll also shout out the milkshakes they do have here at the Plaza Restaurant. They do use the ice cream from the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor, which is Eve's Ice Cream. And I will say, when I had that milkshake at the end of my meal, I know it wasn't anything super special, but boy, did it hit the spot. The Plaza Restaurant has a 7.6 rating out of 10 on our website. And because of all of that, I'm saying that the Plaza Restaurant is the Walt Disney World Railroad of Magic Kingdom Dining. Now, unfortunately, Be Our Guest has received some not so great reviews recently. The food is a little underwhelming and you pay a lot of money for it. This is a very expensive restaurant. Also, the character interaction, it's not a full character meal. The beast just kind of comes out, waves, and then leaves. So that part isn't really worth the price that you pay. Um, some people love it and honestly, I love it too. I think it's, I think it's a must do if you are a Beauty and the Beast fan, if you ever wanted to see inside the castle. I think it's great for that, but it's not one that I would do over and over and over again. On our website, Be Our Guest has a 7.6 rating out of 10. I've eaten in both the big ballroom and the west wing. Both are really, really cool. Um, I think my favorite would probably be the big ballroom because that's just the iconic part of the movie. This one might hurt me a little. I'm gonna say that Be Our Guest restaurant is the Navi River journey of Magic Kingdom dining. We're getting pretty close to the end of our list. Next up, did you know that there's actually a restaurant inside the castle where you can dine with Cinderella and all of her princess friends? This is a restaurant inside Cinderella Castle. It is a table service. Cinderella's Royal Table is a character dining experience, so you will be greeted by Cinderella and a bunch of her friends like Snow White, Jasmine, Aurora. Now, this is one of those restaurants where the price you are paying, you are paying for the experience, not necessarily the food. The food is good, the, there's nothing wrong with the food, but that big price tag is what you are paying to meet Cinderella and all of her friends inside the castle. Now, Cinderella's Royal Table is the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train of Magic Kingdom Dining. It's very popular, everybody wants to do it, and it's better at night. And we're getting very close to the end of our list. Here at the number two spot, ranking for table service restaurants is Skipper Canteen in Adventureland. Now, we at All Ears think that Skipper Canteen could stand up as one of the best restaurants in Magic Kingdom, if not the best. But this ranking doesn't come from us, it comes from your reviews left on allears.net. Skipper Canteen has Asian and South American inspired dishes. There are so many great options on this menu, like the lamb, the Dan Dan noodles, the pork are all amazing. And especially that secret cheese bread that you can get as an appetizer, oh, it's to die for. You have to get it if you come here. Skipper Canteen has a 7.8 ranking out of 10 on our website. And if you want to learn more about the food and the overall experience, you can check out our recent review of Skipper Canteen already up on the channel now. And I mean, it goes without saying, what attraction is going to be for Skipper Canteen? Flight of Passage. No, I'm kidding, Jungle Cruise. Jungle Cruise! Which means our number one spot for table service in Magic Kingdom goes to Liberty Tree Tavern. Liberty Tree Tavern is all about comfort food. This is a table service, it is family style, so everything is shared, but it's got great options, like there's a salad, but then when the main course comes out, you've got turkey, pot roast. Liberty Tree Tavern has an 8.3 rating out of 10. 
And in regards to ride equivalent, Liberty Tree Tavern is definitely the haunted mansion of Magic Kingdom dining. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And now go check out my video on all of the Magic Kingdom secrets that everyone should know. I'll see you there.